Okay, we're going to clarify some accounting terms or business terms to begin with. When we talk about the assets of a business, we are talking about what the business owns. These are things like cash, building, equipment, vehicles, computers. All of these are referred to as assets. It's what the business owns. Now compare that to liabilities. Liabilities is what the business owes. The business owes money to its suppliers. That's called an accounts payable. The business owes money to the bank. That's called a bank loan. If the business has bought an asset called building, well, they may have a mortgage against that building. That's called a mortgage payable. And then we have equity. Equity is the difference between what a business owns and what the business owes. And that belongs to the shareholders, so it's called a shareholder's equity. All right, that's the difference between what it own, the business owns and what the business owes. Now we have another term called revenue. Now many people think revenue means profit or means money. No, it doesn't. A business is in the business to earn revenue. It earns revenue when it provides a service or a product to a customer. So revenue represents what the business earns. Now, if it got money at the time that it earned the revenue, that's fine. If it didn't get money, then it earned an accounts receivable. And an accounts receivable is an asset. But keep in mind, it's when the business performs the service or sells the product, it's at that point that they have earned revenue, whether they got the cash or not. Contrast that to expenses. Now expenses are those things that are consumed by the business to earn revenue. That's things like rent and things like electricity, um, salaries that they pay employees. All of these are expenses that the business incurred to earn revenue. Now, if they paid them in cash, fine. If they didn't pay them in cash, then it's accounts payable up here. They owe it. So there you have the five different categories of accounts. One, two, three, four, and five. All accounts in accounting fall into either one of these categories. And we summarize. We begin by summarizing the revenue and expenses and we do that in what's called an income statement. Now an income statement is simply the revenue the business earned minus the expenses that they consume to earn that revenue. And that difference is called net income or profit. Both terms mean the same thing. So that's your income statement. And that summarizes these two categories of um, accounts, business accounts. Summarizing these three up here, we do that in what's called the balance sheet. And the balance sheet is a simple accounting of the assets and all of the assets are equal to what we owe plus what remains as part of the shareholders equity. That is the balance sheet lists the value of all the assets and then it lists who they owe and the difference between the, what they own and who they own is referred to as equity. So now let's apply this now to the Golf and Country Club. It has the following accounts and they want you to classify them as either an asset, a liability, equity, revenue, or expense. Accounts payable. Well, that's money I owe. Payable. That's a liability. Accounts receivable. That's money that I'm going to receive. I have an account with a customer and they're going to pay me later. So that is an asset. Equipment, that too is an asset. Sales revenue, well the key here is revenue, that's revenue, R. 
inventory. Inventory is what I bought in, which I am going to sell my customers. So that is an asset. Mortgage payable, we came across that. Payable indicates a liability. Supplies expense. Well, supplies are what I bought in, uh, office supplies, in order to run my business. And I've used them up. So that is an expense. Rent expense, easy. And wages and salary, all expenses. Classify each as an asset, liability, common stock, revenue, and expenses. Issuance of com ownership shares. Well, that is common stock when the business sells shares. We didn't quite cover that. We will later. Land purchased. Well, that's an asset. Amount owed to suppliers. That's called accounts payable that we have up there. That is a liability. Bonds payable. That's something we'll come across later. But the term payable indicates that a liability. We'll explain what a bond is later in the course. Amount earned from selling a product. Hey, well, that's revenue. When I sell the product, I earn revenue. Cost of advertising, well, that's an expense. So there you have the, the different categories of accounts in accounting.